Okay, so this is gonna be like the third video that I've made about the brand new desktop computer that I purchased. Um, this desktop is a uh, Core i7. It has a 32 gigabytes of RAM and it has a uh, Titan X video card. You can watch the video that I made before this in order to uh, see how I put it together. When I got this desktop, it came with Windows 7. I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Microsoft put out the updates in order to make sure that everybody's on Windows 10 so they can unify all of the platforms, tablets, etc., etc. So basically, um, not very long ago, I think maybe a year or two ago, I made a video explaining to you how to hack into Mac OS X and how to beat the password if, if you forgot your password or if somebody had you locked out of an OS X laptop or a MacBook, I should say, or Mac. And uh, that video is uh, still online and it's still getting a lot of views. Um, now I'm gonna teach you about something called Wi-Fi Sense. Now Wi-Fi Sense is a new feature in Windows 10 and it says Wi-Fi Sense connects you to suggested Wi-Fi hotspots and to Wi-Fi networks that your contacts share with you, right? So basically what Wi-Fi Sense does is when it's enabled, anyone that you have in your Skype Outlook or Hotmail contact list or your Facebook friends can be granted access to your Wi-Fi network as long as they're in range. Now, maybe you don't want somebody who's on your contact list to have access to your Wi-Fi when they're in range because if somebody has access to your Wi-Fi, they can basically get into your home network and whatever and they can hack you. There are some people with skill levels a lot higher than others. So anyway, let me explain to you how to get to Wi-Fi Sense in the first place. So I'm going to close this window. All you got to do, you go down to the bottom to the Windows button, which thankfully Microsoft put back where the hell it was supposed to be in the first place instead of getting rid of it in Microsoft Windows 8. Whoever did that needs to be fired. But anyway, you go to Settings next. Hit Settings. When you hit Settings you're gonna see network and internet. You hit network and internet. Then you see it's already on the Wi-Fi button, but if it wasn't, you would click Wi-Fi. And then you go down to right here where it says manage Wi-Fi settings. You go to Wi-Fi Sense. That's how we got right back to where we were. And then what you can do is you can disconnect people from your Outlook.com from having access to your Wi-Fi. You can disconnect Skype contacts, you can disconnect Facebook friends. As you can see, it says Wi-Fi Sense needs permission to use your Facebook account. So obviously you don't want anybody accessing your Wi-Fi or whatever Wi-Fi you're connected to because once again, somebody could hack you. If you want to learn more about Wi-Fi Sense, just push the learn more button and it'll take you to the website where you can read about Wi-Fi Sense. Another problem with Wi-Fi Sense is that Wi-Fi Sense lets you share access to more networks than just your own. That means you can share access to any network that you got like uh, the old way, like, you know, by actually typing in the password. Wi-Fi Sense does not distinguish between your home network, your work network, like, like for instance, if you have a computer and you take it from place to place, Wi-Fi Sense doesn't really know the difference between your house, your job, or if you go to one of your family members' house. If, if, if you typed in the password, bottom line is this, if you typed in the password, anybody has access to getting onto networks that you've been on, which means that you are putting yourself out there to be hacked. So similar to people who have Google phones or Apple iPhone and they turn off their location features, this is basically a way to decrease the possibility of you getting hacked. So if you're one of the many people who's upgraded to Windows 10 using the uh, free download, hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you'll share this video with other people so that they don't get their asses hacked. And um, if you want to learn how to hack into a Mac OS X running computer, or if you need to uh, change a password and you forgot it or something, please watch that video that I made. You can look it up by just typing Big Truck Series Review, How to Hack Your Mac. Um, I don't think I made any other hacking videos or any other security risk videos. I really don't think I did, but if I did, I'll, I'll probably try to provide links.